water signs pisces cancer and scorpio welcome to my channel this is chelsea thank you so much for liking and subscribing i really appreciate your love and support in this reading we are going to get you some important love messages please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not resonate with each and every one of you spirits and angels please show me important love messages for water signs pisces cancer and scorpio today nine of wands at the bottom of the deck when i say someone or somebody that means it could it could either be you or the person whom you could be thinking about or dealing with eight of pentacles here is someone verse seven of cups three of swords in one verse i'm hearing um haven't i worked hard enough in this connection haven't i put in enough effort into this connection feels like i'm being underappreciated that's just for some of you okay i don't know where that's coming from but the three of swords sometimes i just hear things anyway we've got the three of swords here in reverse someone could be also trying to figure out uh, how to heal this connection how to work on this connection just kind of like don't know what to do a lot of question marks that i'm getting here and two of wands may be an indication of someone feeling kind of indecisive because it's talking about a future right ten of pentacles here and the two of wands this person is actually holding this globe so it's, it's like trying to look into the future trying to make the right decision because the ten of pentacles is something that is a long term growing old together retiring together starting a family together building a legacy together right and the nine of wands here indicates someone is going to decide eventually i feel because it's leaning towards the left here someone could be deciding finally that they would like to uh, make things right heal this connection or to offer these ten of pentacles here someone may be able to actually see that see you in your future or that you may be able to see someone in your future and it's just not about any future because the ten of pentacles is like a very strong solid future right but someone here may be a bit indecisive because they're like i really need to make sure this is it but i can definitely see being in the future with this person i remember um just giving an example some of you maybe um there is a need to ask as well i remember asking my boyfriend do you see a future in us in our relationship he says yes sure of course so you know it could be someone here definitely can see if you in the future or that you can definitely see them in your future but there's still something here right with the two of ones here um like it's not quite there yet but seven of cups also can be an indication of sometimes if things are not always you know great i mean no relationships are 100 percent, right it's never perfect so um if things haven't been great lately there could have been some arguments uh, I definitely send someone maybe like second guessing it a little bit but I feel like it's definitely leaning towards being able to see future with you or you with them and wanting to build this future together with you or you with them page of wands here is the mug first yep will I be able to sacrifice certain things uh, as in sacrifice location or sacrifice my work or sacrifice sacrifice my freedom right there's something here that someone could be you know just thinking contemplating a little bit because it feels like there could be some sacrifices that need to be make made and also you know a choice it's a big choice right a big decision we've got the uh Eight of Swords here at Marvers and the Five of Cups here at Marvers. Someone here may be leaning towards trying to see more positives in this connection than not positive. I sense also if you've been waiting, some of you have been waiting for somebody to propose to you or take the relationship to the next level, make it official. I sense them will eventually make a choice to do so, okay? But right now, maybe they're still confused. Or it could be you. Maybe you're still confused about somebody um wondering if this is the right person will you have a future with this person perhaps you will be the one um maybe you are the one needing to make the choice again it could go it could go vice versa but i like that the ten of pentacles is in the heart of the reading so somebody's intention here for this connection is for it to go far 
for it to be um, a solid one, for it to be a sustainable connection. However, for some of you, if you are single, I definitely see Seven of Cups here. It's like, why, you know, why do I have so many options? But none of these options are good. You know, when am I going to meet this person whom, you know, is going to be very passionate towards me and vice versa and that both of you also at the same time can build a life uh, together right it could also be an energy of somebody pondering where is my person where is my person but spirit's trying to say to see the glass half full then it is half empty right if you're focusing on the past here then you will miss out a couple of these opportunities two of cups right behind you let's see more pisces cancer and scorpio justice may be an indication of marriage for some of you it is somebody trying to decide whether they should marry you or be married to you or propose something in regards of the future or engagement trying to be serious someone wants to be serious in this connection but could be afraid because of the nine of wands here afraid of getting hurt they may have their guards up again it could be you or this person but with the king of wands here strong fire yeah a lot of you could be dealing with a fire sign aries sagittarius leo um but the king of wands here someone is definitely passionate about this connection this person right but could be overthinking with the nine of swords here fearful of getting hurt or fearful that they may not be able to, you know, be the partner that you want, or vice versa, mm, or giving this ten of pentacles, this future that is very, very stable. So there's some uh, insecurities or fear that I'm sensing here. But ten of swords and love birds also can indicate somebody will be trying to make it right to you, or that could go vice versa, because... Ten of Swords and Lovers indicates somebody wanting to, you know, heal this connection, remove the swords off of your back or vice versa. And Queen of Wands, we've got the King and the Queen. So this is actually a true match, right? Both of you, it could be an indication that both of you are actually very passionate about each other. But, you know, there could be some blockages because, you know, fear of getting hurt uh, because of trauma from the past, uh, anxiety, maybe some sometimes depression as well. Um, so hence the seven of cups feeling unsure if they should really really work on this connection or you know or needing more time or to walk away completely so that's definitely a dilemma here that i'm seeing um, but for those of you involved in a third party situation only if you truly know you're involved in a third party situation i sense that uh, somebody will be receiving a karma here justice card because the nana one's looking at the justice here a bit of an energy of someone wanting to see that this person receives their justice karma receives their bad karma right someone will be it feels like it especially if someone here has been lied to or cheated on hmm another scenario that i'm seeing here that is just for some of you again super specific uh i don't know why this came to my mind suddenly but uh some of you it's you know somebody cheated on this person when with the third party and then but that person is has been cheating on the third party back with the original person it goes back and forth like that that's just for some of you okay and it feels a bit like okay this is this is your karma for you know stealing my husband or stealing my wife now you know how it feels something like that and that's just for some of you okay we've got the five pentacles five of swords and the hermit if you guys say check out your angel number 55 you can go ahead and google it Spirit's definitely saying to be wise, right? The hermit and whatever that you do in regards to love and to play your game well. Five of Swords here. Play your game well because you don't want to be left out in the cold again. Don't want to be abandoned. Uh, again, that's for some of you. That's That advice is for some of you. Eight of Wands here. Ace of Wands. And also we've got the Queen of Cups. 
there will be a communication coming in for some of you in regards of wanting to revive this connection. Or someone could be waiting for someone to communicate in regards of reigniting passion here. The love is definitely there. Queen of Cups, this is your energy, right? But some of you, if you are um, online dating, okay, if you have many options here, I definitely sense there will be people saying nice things to you. There will be guys or girls, you know, being very passionate about you. But I feel like a lot of you may be fearful with the hermit here that, is it, are they playing games with me, five of swords? Are they, you know, lying to me? Uh, because the hermit, perhaps for a lot of you, you are wise already you already know you've been through a lot of experiences and you don't want to be played by anybody right that's for some of you five pentacles it's a sense of you know i don't want to you know experience the same thing that i used to experience before when i was being left out in the cold and all that when i was being played in the past but i definitely see a communication coming in for some of you if you're currently connected with someone and your person is kind of confused or it or it could be you kind of confused. I sense a decision is going to be made here. And it's going to be a big decision because of the Ten of Cups. Sorry, Ten of Pentacles here. It's um, it's like a make or break kind of a decision. It's like either we go all the way towards the end. We get married or we stay married. Or we start family together. All of those good stuff. And we plan about our future, our old age, retirement, or or nothing at all. That's what I'm getting here. All right, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. This is your reading. I hope you resonated. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you with a few videos on the screen right now. These videos are from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. If you're interested, check it out. And uh, I'm in London right now. I'm having so much fun. I love this country. I've been here 10 years ago, uh, and I've always wanted to return. And finally, I'm here. Um, so in these, these vlog, vlogs <laughs> on the end screen now, uh, I just posted it not long ago, about a week ago, so check it out, I really had so much fun, um, if you want to, if not, it's fine too, and also I will leave you with a playlist on the screen, this playlist has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs for different topics and different questions, but um they're still new they're still valid because you guys know i've been posting your videos every single day and there could be some other different messages that you may have missed um click on that playlist scroll the way down look for your sign again there could be some other mess uh, messages that may be useful for you all right and also i'm open for personal readings if you'd like to book me my information is in the description box below take care bye